for over 1500 years the church has been celebrating the resurrection with fire. That's not something typically done at St Augman's, at least not in my experience, but I do love an Easter Vigil, not least because I quite like fire. There's something about building fires, lighting them, watching them, feeding them, stoking them, that I really, really enjoy. Now the service, it starts something like this. Before daybreak, a fire is lit outside the church. It helps if the lighter works. A fire is lit outside the church. From this fire, the Pascal candle is lit. The Pascal candle, the light of Christ. This candle is then carried into the church. where it lights all the other smaller candles held by the congregation. The person carrying the candle stops three times and repeats, light of Christ. service is beautiful, the service is peaceful and it is mysterious, yet our reading for today doesn't speak so much of peace or of happiness. You see, Mary, Simon and Peter, they, they just don't get it yet. Mary, she comes to the tomb before daybreak. She finds the stone rolled away. And so terrified, naturally, she runs back and she gets Peter. And Peter comes the tomb. No, he doesn't come, he runs. He runs to the tomb with another disciple. Peter, Peter, he, he looks inside and he sees the burial cloths just laying there. The face cloth, Jesus' face cloth, rolled up. separate. John writes that the other disciple, he goes in. He goes into the tomb. sees and he believes. I think John believed that Jesus was indeed gone. I don't know about you but that would be pretty hard for me to swallow. The person who I thought was dead. The person who I watched die. The person I loved, who I followed for years, is dead. I watched his pet.
Ariel. Yeah, now. Now he's gone. And so Peter and the other disciple, will they leave, they go back to their homes. Probably despairing. But Mary, now Mary stays and she weeps. She weeps. And so she enters the tomb bending down. She sees two figures, two angels, inside. One dressed all in white. And they ask her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she replies, They've taken my master. I don't know where. And then turning around, she's faced with with a man. A man who she assumes to be the gardener. And he asks her, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? She says the same thing. They've taken my master, and I don't know where they have put him. Please, if you have taken him, tell me where he is, so that I may care for him. The man then says to Mary, he says her name. Mary. And she looks at him and she says, Rabbi, teacher. All Jesus had to do was say her name. Mary to know that it was him. And then Jesus says something slightly strange, doesn't he? He says, do not cling to me. Do not cling to me. For I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go, tell my brothers, for I will ascend. I don't know about you, but if that was me, I would want to just grab hold of Jesus and not let him go. I'd be terrified that it was a fever dream. That I was, I was hallucinating. But Jesus, in a very Jesus way, he reassures me. He reassures her that he is there. He reassures her that he is alive. There are two certainties in life. And I know I've talked about this before in sermons, but death and taxes. And Jesus deals with the taxes thing when he tells uh, people to give to Caesar what is Caesar's, but the death thing, this, this is where the death thing is dealt with. When you're faced with the reality that death has been defeated, reasons I like the Easter Vigil 
it's not just because I like fire, it's not just because of the kind of peaceful nature of the service, but because fire represents something interesting to me. Fire represents transformation. So you take these pieces of wood and they're wood, in fact these are old bed slats. But fire transforms it. Transforms it in a way that nothing else can. And we use fire, but fire is uncontrollable. Fire is a beast unto itself. That's why I've got this one in an incinerator bin. Because I don't want this to hit my garden. Because who knows what could happen. We couldn't control it. I couldn't control it. See, we like to be in control as human beings. We want to be in control of everything around us. And when we can't be, when something happens which removes our control, we tend not to like it. It tends to mess us up. When Jesus defeated death, it messed everything up. Because we had everything in this nice, neat little system, didn't we? We were born, we lived, we lived a good life, we died. We did the best with what we could. But hey, all's well that ends well, hey? But Jesus comes along and he does this, and he says, he says, follow me. He says, follow me. There's a fantastic little conversation that happens between uh, between a young girl called Lucy and a beaver in the book The Line, The Witch in the Wardrobe. Lucy finds out that Aslan, who is the great king of Narnia, he's, he's the person who they're all waiting for to come back and defeat the White Witch. But he is a lion. And, Su and Lucy, bless her, she asks Mr. Beaver, is he, is he quite safe? And Mr. Beaver says, safe? Who said anything about safe? He's a lion. He's not safe. He's good. He's the king, I tell you. And you know what? When when Jesus comes into our lives, he can mess everything up. Do you know the truth? He's alive. And he brings life. And he brings life in all its fullness. You see, through the crucifixion, through that death that Jesus suffered, standing front of the empty tomb, illuminated, illuminated by the light and the hope of the resurrection, we are offered life. You are invited in to the resurrection life. You are invited to live in the hope of eternal life. You see, know that there is nothing that you can do to change this. There is nothing that you can do to turn the resurrection off. Because, my friends, he is alive and he reigns. So I invite you today, whether for the first time or whether for the hundredth time, join in the resurrection life. 
allow Jesus to burn up all the rubbish, all the detritus, all the nonsense, all the sin, all the pain, all the death. Live in the light of the resurrection. The one truth. He's alive. Happy Easter.